Hey, welcome back. Some high cirrus clouds floating over south central today. Uh, you can see those here on our time lapse camera filling in, uh, blocking the sunlight late this afternoon, but uh, not any longer. Just in time, just before the sun is setting, you can see that sun peeking in here behind those clouds. Uh, that's all going to clear, and I do expect clear conditions as we head overnight tonight. In fact, the view right now here from Midtown Anchorage, you can see a clear shot there of Sleeping Lady across the inlet. Uh, we're going to continue to see just a spectacular sunset again here over the next 15 minutes. It was cold today though. High temperature only got up to 18 degrees and that's about half of what we would typically expect. About 15 degrees below that normal of 30. Started out at 10. That's also below normal for this time of year. The reason for the cold air is because we have this Arctic air mass that's been pushing in here from the north. That's going to stick with us through Friday even into Saturday. But as we head into the weekend, that's all going to move on to the east as we get a little ridge that moves in. That'll help to boost our temperature temperatures and it will bring back that westerly flow with storm systems returning to the west coast and eventually here into south central and into southeast as well but not just yet uh, right now we are seeing clear and dry conditions across most of the state just dealing with those high winds today and again we do have that next storm system that's lurking here in the far western pacific we already have winter storm watches and advisories in effect out west as this storm will bring in more snow and wind coming this weekend, especially late Saturday into Sunday. But the rest of the state still seeing the impacts of the wind and the cold air. We do still have wind chill warnings on the slope for wind chill values between 50 and 60 below zero. Still seeing those dangerous wind chill values I am blowing snow through the Alaska range and then down into Thompson Pass we do have a wind chill advisory that's going to go into effect at nine o'clock tonight continuing all the way through noon on Sunday for wind chill values between 40 and 50 below zero the strong winds that we've been seeing in this area also causing blowing snow and impacts to Richardson Highway uh, causing some closures at times look at these gusts we've seen so far today out along the Richardson Highway 47 miles per hour but up to 39 right here in Anchorage up to 53 again in Palmer 60 mile per hour wind gusts again in Seward today and again those winds high all the way down here through Cook Inlet that's going to stick around tomorrow and you'll see those high winds also in Skagway gusting to about uh, 50 miles per hour but otherwise sunny and dry across southeast tomorrow 20s to the north you'll see high temperatures in the 30s to the south now across the interior it is getting even colder we're talking 30 to 45 below zero tonight from Fairbanks into for Yukon cold with that dangerous wind chill and blowing snow on the slope tomorrow out west we're also going to see again extreme cold 20 below in Kotzebue tonight 32 below in Galena down to 34 below in McGrath watch out for dangerous wind chill values to 45 below zero in Bethel as we head into tomorrow again western Aleutians that's where we'll see the snow and rain and the wind uh, for those of you across the Kenai Peninsula still sunny but still breezy and cold tomorrow gusts to 25 miles per hour near Homer up to 50 in Seward we'll see those strong winds from Whittier through Valdez all the way up into the Copper River Basin for the valley gusts to 35 miles per hour near Wasilla 40 in Palmer we'll see those high temperatures in the teens briefly below zero overnight in Anchorage. Breezy winds lingering with high temperatures into the mid-teens. Again, through the weekend, we hold on to that cold air, not seeing chances for snow until the middle part of next week. And Mike, those chances uh, aren't going to bring a lot of snow right now. It looks pretty light.